Here in Hong Kong, my Freedom Day feels a little bit different this year. Instead of being out of school, I'm in the control room where I've been talking to students via video chat. Our schools here in Hong Kong, because of the coronavirus outbreak, are closed for at least two months. But that has not diminished the enthusiasm for activism for these students. To me, I used to think that freedom was being able to express my thoughts. But being stuck at home, I feel like freedom to me is safety. And I feel safe when I'm at home. I feel safe when I'm not out. And I feel like that I'm really lucky and I'm really privileged to be in a safe place. And I'm also really privileged to be able to be learning. What have you learned about modern day slavery? Like every country in some way or some form has modern day slavery. And especially in Hong Kong, where it's going to be like the domestic worker culture here, there's always some form of slavery, but it's just hidden, makes it hard for us to kind of identify it and solve it. After doing research, I found out that, in fact, Hong Kong actually is doing one of the worst in terms of taking action against slavery and has a very high um, population to slave ratio. What are you doing to fight modern day slavery? We actually somewhat indirectly support modern day slavery because a lot of it is used really far down the supply chain by big corporations. So that's something that I'm trying to be more mindful of. In my opinion, one of the biggest things that we're doing is actually releasing books about My Freedom Day into our library uh, since school has been shut down. Uh, we are actually uploading the books onto uh, a web page called Sora, uh, where students can go into uh, the web page, access the books, and read more about the issue that's going on. The problem of modern day slavery is just so daunting. How optimistic are you that you can make a difference? I'm quite optimistic about solving modern day slavery. I think that our generation, we have the tool of social media that we can use to spread awareness. With awareness and contacting local NGOs, we can make a big difference. It, it gives me hope that people like us, the younger generation, really have the ability and knowledge um, to express our thoughts and contribute into making a change.